Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you my top five, I believe. Yeah, top five favorite books. Now, I will admit that I have not been reading as many books as I would like to. And I kind of want to make it a goal to read about five books a month. And I don't want to say this is going to be like a new series or a new thing on my channel until I see that I can commit to it. But if I do see that I'm able to read at least five or four, a good amount of books a month, then I will definitely make it a thing where it's like I make a video on my favorite books of that month. I'll probably do that. These are some of my old favorite books. And then there's some that I have just finished reading and then some that I am reading right now. So if you guys wanna see my top five favorite books, then just keep watching. So when it comes to fiction books, I love kind of like the love, romance, mysterious and psychological books. Um, I don't really like the supernatural books, but I do like the drama, love, romantic, mystery and psychological kinds of genres. So I'm gonna start with those first. This is kind of like a, I wouldn't call it a teens book. I guess it could be a teens book, but I just love these. These are the ones that you know, you just read for entertainment to step into a whole nother world and get wrapped up in that world. It's like watching a show and you just can't stop reading it it's amazing so these are the books that i'm going to be talking about first the first one is called before i fall by lauren oliver and i'm going to read like the back just to kind of give you an idea of what the book is about what if you only had one day to live what would you do who would you kiss and how far would you go to save your own life samantha kingston has it all looks popularity the perfect boyfriend friday february 12th should be just another in her charmed life Instead, it turns out to be her last. The catch, Samantha still wakes up the next morning, living the last day of her life seven times during one miraculous week. She will untangle the mystery surrounding her death and discover the true value of everything she is in danger of losing. So it's kind of like a drama. I love this book because of that. It just took me to another world. By the way, all the books that I talk about in this video will be in the description down below. So click on those after the video if you're interested in getting them as well. The next one is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. And this one is by Michelle Hodkins. It's another drama, kind of like teen romantic book, but also a little bit more, I think, on the psychological side. I'm gonna read the back as well for you guys so that you know what it's about. You wake up with no memory of the last few days. Your friends were killed in an accident that you miraculously survived. Your family has to move to another state to escape the fallout. You meet a mysterious boy who seems to know more about your past than you do. You start seeing things that can't possibly be there. You are afraid you are losing your mind. Can you keep it together? Mara Dyer is about to find out. So this is another romantic teen book with a little bit of mystery in it and those are the kinds that I like. I also read the book Paper Towns before the movie came out and it was just another amazing book to me. I didn't like the, the movie as much. That's usually, that's, that's usually what happens with these kind of books that turn into movies. The movies just don't give you what the book gives you, if you know what I'm saying. So I read that book, I just don't have it with me right now because I gave it to my sister. And so that book was amazing to me. Now this is more like a psychological book. This book was also a movie and I, I, I did like it, but because of the action. Since they added the action that I kind of hadn't pictured in my head in this book, I did like it. I don't think they were as detailed as the book, movies never are but the action really made it made it okay for me because this book had a lot of action in it that i always pictured in my mind i kind of like you know pictured in my mind how it would be and the movie kind of was very accurate on that so i liked the movie but this book is the girl on the train by paula hawkins and i'm pretty sure some people have already seen the movie so i won't go into details i mean i'm not really trying to go into details about any book because i want you guys to read them if you're interested i don't want to give any spoilers but is it but this book is a psychological thriller and it really like messes you up okay so it's like you're constantly trying to figure out what's going on and again another book that just takes you into a whole another world i really think that's just what reading is it's just taking you into this whole nother dimension and it's the perfect way to escape or the perfect way to just be entertained 
in a way that has nothing to do with technology. So now I'm gonna go into more of the books that are like self-development kinds of books. And the book that I'm currently reading right now is the Dave Ramsey, The Total Money Makeover. This guy is such a financial expert, he is so good. He does have a YouTube channel and he does have a show on a radio station. I don't know exactly what radio station right now, but he does have a YouTube channel where people call in and they tell them about their financial situation and he talks to, and gives them advice. Um, but this book is a complete guide to the total money makeover. There's a lot of success stories and personal stories in here as he goes through the guide. So there's a lot of people that have already read this book and they talk about how it changed their life. And he goes in detail about everybody's situation, like how much debt they have, what did they do, how to get rid, how they got rid of debt. And um, basically it's just a money. He gives you all these tips and he gives you another way of looking at money, looking at debt, looking at the reality that we're living in. And I've learned a lot of things from him and I learned also the main, I think I said this in my last video, the 22 things I've learned in 22 years about not using credit cards. I learned that in this book um, in detail in this book, I, you know, I kind of had the idea, you know, my dad would always tell me these things, but when I read this book, it was like more of a reality check that this is, this is the real thing. So if you guys are looking for some financial advice, even if you're not in any state of debt or you're not really, you feel like you're not that bad financially, it's really good for the future. This is a really good book for the, fu for the future. And I'm pretty sure um, you won't think about these things until you learn it from a book or learn it from somebody who's an expert. So I definitely recommend this book. I'm gonna link it in the description as well. I also enjoy audible books, especially when I can listen to them anywhere I am, whatever I'm doing, if I'm getting ready in the morning, if I'm in the shower, if I'm driving, I can listen to the book. And of course, it's not the same as having a book in your hands, but I don't think that there's any, th any difference. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, you still are, well, as you, you know, you can still get the same benefits because as you read, you expand your vocabulary, um, you learn a lot of new things, and I think that you can expand your vocabulary also by li listening to somebody, even though you're not really looking at words, listening to somebody also can do that for you, and you can still learn, I think, in the same way, and probably a little faster and accurately because you have it on there and, you know, you can just listen and finish books faster that way. So I did mention this book in a couple of videos, but I just finished it and I wanted to mention it again one more time because I did this, because I did read this book recently and it is The Five Second Rule by Mel, Mel Robbins. Yes, Mel Robbins. Oh my gosh, this book has helped me with procrastination and The Five Second Rule is a tool that you can use for your everyday life for success, it will literally change your life. And she talks about all kinds of things, also talks about success stories. Um, she talks about procrastination, success, life in general, and how you can apply the five second rule to your life. That's another self-development book that I really have enjoyed and I do plan on getting more. I wanna use Audible a little bit more, maybe get some books from Amazon just that are cheaper because Physical books, like when you go to Barnes and Noble, they're like expensive. Those are the books that I have read and I have enjoyed. Again, I will let you know if I can do the three to five books a month. And if I do, if I am consistent with that, then I will make that a series on my channel just to get you guys motivated as well to read because I think reading is just a great thing to do to make part of your routine to make part of your life you can learn a lot of things from it it's a you can see it as an escape you can see it as a therapy you can see it as just a tool that you can use to to self-teach to become more intelligent to become stronger spiritually mentally i think reading is very important so i do want to make that my goal so i will let you know if i can be consistent on that i will try to be most likely usually when i say something i make it happen that's the mentality that you always have to have. So yeah, guys, let me know if you guys try any of these books. Remember, they're gonna be in the description down below. If you have any book recommendations for me or for my subscribers, just comment down below. Let me know what books you guys have read or what any recommendations that you have. And that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you in my next video.